All right, Adam, should we do some questions? Yeah, let's do some listener questions. We have one from Michael. He says, Dave, Pete, and Adam. Welcome, Adam. I've listened to both Mac Geek App and Mac Cast since the beginning. I guess that makes me old, but I've never been caught. That's a good thing. Um, I need your geek wisdom on adding my desktop and document files to my iCloud drive. My first question is, do any of you use it? Second, my main Mac is a work-issued M1 16-inch MacBook Pro with a 500-gigabyte internal hard drive. I use Dropbox and store almost all my documents there except one work-specific folder I store on the hard drive on the MacBook Pro. We also use Google as our system at work, so much of my work-related stuff is on a company Google Drive. I back up my photos in iCloud Photo Library. What would the advantages and disadvantages be of turning this feature on in my situation? Thanks for all you do. Yeah, I um I use the 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 desktop and document syncing on all of my Macs. Uh years ago after upgrading to the 2 terabyte family plan which last week I mentioned I might need to upgrade past uh it because I figured well I have more storage than I need, which is getting to be less true. I I thought, well, why not? Right? And uh, but I am not using Apple's documents folder as my main document storage. Uh, for that, I use Synology Drive, but that's kind of a material, you know, you use Dropbox, whatever. Um, but still, having whatever is in my documents folder synced everywhere proves useful every now and again, uh, especially with the Files app on my iDevices. Yes, there are integrations for Dropbox into the Files app and Synology Drive into the Files app. I haven't found anything that is as seamless as Apple's own documents folder in the file. Yeah, it's- <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Like this is so when I need to get something to or from my mostly from like if I'm saving it from my phone or something, I will put it in the documents folder and I just know it's going to work. I don't have to like clunkily re-log into my services and all that. So, so that works fine. And that's convenient where this syncing really pays off for me mm. is that I love having my desktop folder be the same on all of my Macs. You know, I use the, my mm-hmm, laptop, yeah. obviously, when I'm traveling. I have a Mac in the studio. I have a Mac in my office. And just knowing that whatever I put into my desktop folder or a subfolder thereof is just there. I use my desktop folder for a lot of the... I have a subfolder of my desktop folder that I use for a lot of sort of in progress files, like, like the, the agenda document uh, for the show notes where I actually track the timestamps and all that. 